Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you in a demonstration how you are going to do the experiment at home. The title of this experiment is how to determine the cell size or what is the proper size of the cell. Now, in order to do this experiment, we might need potato pieces. We are going to need two transparent disposable cups. We will need a ruler, a pen, and food coloring, or if you have ink, it will be much more better. We need a potato peeler, and definitely we need water, and disposable plates. So it is recommended that you have your lab coat, and you put your gloves. First of all, I'm going to start by peeling the potato. Now, after that, I'm going to use the potato as a demonstration for the cell. So the main idea is I need to create different cubes of different sizes. These sizes are going to be one centimeter uh, cube side two centimeters and three centimeters. In order to do that, I'm going to use a ruler. Uh, I prefer you, you use a plastic knife for safety. One, three centimeters each side, one, two, and one, one. Now these are representing cells. So what we are going to do is, we want to put this potato in a plastic cup with dye. By doing that, we are, we are going to check how fast the color is going to go deep inside the cells. You know that in your in your in your body the cells are present in aqueous solution. It means around the cells it's almost like water. And all the transportation happening into the cell and out of the cell, it's similar to the transportation that's going to happen in this experiment. So what you are going to do, you are going to put these three cubes. the solution and using a timer you need to wait from 20 to 30 minutes and I'm going to wait for 20 minutes and I'll see you back after 20 minutes now while we are waiting 20 minutes we are going to explain a little bit about the area to volume ratio. The area to volume ratio, A to V ratio, allows us to understand the size of a certain geometric shape. How is that? If I have a perfect geometric shape, like speaking about a cube, where I can measure its volume and its area, like the examples I'm doing now, you will be able to get this ratio, which is A to V ratio. Now. In order to do that, we have to do two steps or three steps. Number one, we need to calculate the area. Number two, we need to calculate the volume. And number three, we need to write the ratio. Okay, if you have no idea what is the meaning of ratio, in math, ratio is a relationship between two numbers. And the best way to write a ratio is to simplify these two numbers. Like for example, I say, I have 20 students in the class. Okay, 
15 students passed and 5 students failed. The ratio is 15 to 5. 1, 5, 2, 5. Okay. But it's not the best way to write the ratio. I can simplify by 5. So I'm going to get 3 to 1. It means for, e for every th 3 students passing, 1 is failing. This is the concept of ratio. Now, this is not our topic. Just to give you an idea what ratio is. So, in order to calculate the ratio uh, area to volume now, we need to measure the area and the volume of each cube that we have. Starting with the 3 centimeters cube, the 2 and the 1. So, measuring the, the dimensions of a cube is very easy because all the sides are equal. Like, for example, let's start with the 3 centimeters uh, cube. In order to get the area, you need to add the area of each side. And how many, how many sides we have? We have six sides. So it's going to be three times three. This is the area of one side, which is nine. Then you have to add it to another nine, and another nine, and another nine, another nine, and another nine. So it's simply nine times six, or side, area side, or side of an area times six. When it comes to the volume, the volume at the other hand, it's going to be side times side, times side okay because it's a cube now if you are speaking about another rectangle for example we say it's width times length times volt times height okay now since a cube is perfect simply we can say three times three times three we can get the volume i'm not going to do the calculation you have to do the calculation but we are going to do the calculation for three different cubes one one centimeter two two centimeter and the three centimeters. Six minutes left until we get the result and the check the experiment. Now, after six minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out these three tubes. Assuming that these tubes are cells and they are placed inside body fluids. And the body fluids contain nutrients, contain sugar, contain vitamins, minerals, contain water. All of these are essential to the cell and essential for the nucleus as well, for the DNA. So, we need to check what is the perfect, we need to check what is the perfect size of the cell. Number two, we need to answer this question. Why cells are microscopic? Why, when we grow, our cells divide, but they don't grow in size? What will happen if our cells are, are huge? Our cells are huge. Isn't it going to be better for the cell to be larger? Let's see. So as we discussed before in the class, no matter how old you are, no matter the size of the organism, all cells are microscopic and organisms, organisms grow by dividing their cells, not by growing the size of the cell. Okay? So after five minutes, I'm going to get out the three cubes. Then I'm going to cut each cube in half. And I'm going to see how deep the color went inside. Because when you speak about the cells, it's very important to know that the cells must get their material and their nutrients at the same moment they need it. They cannot wait. Okay? So... If the dye didn't reach the core of the cubes, it means it's very slow. It's, it takes time until it reaches to the nucleus of the cell. If the dye reached the core of the cube, then it means it's able to move faster and satisfy the needs of the cell. So I'll come back after five minutes to see the results of our experiment. Okay, so... After 20 minutes, we are going to get out the potato pieces. So these are the three different cubes of different sizes that represent cells of different sizes. Now what we are going to do is we need to cut each cube in half. And we need to see how much the dye penetrated inside the cube. As can you see, 
the color penetrated almost few millimeters it didn't reach the core of the cube so let's say this is a cell this is supposed to be the nucleus the ribosomes and the ER so the material won't be able to reach the core of the cell even in one or two hours let's move to the other cell which, is, which has two centimeters side now again the same thing the dye couldn't reach the core of this cube now the last one which has one centimeter dimensions as can you see the color changed along the cube all of it and it was able to reach the core 